I like this song. I'm so happy. I'm and also, this. I do one thing that I do appreciate late for, especially at our locals, is that he makes sure that he always puts on the right music. So I'm not losing my mind listening to Smashville music Thank over and over and over. God, and this all this new music that we have in this game is something you guys get to enjoy and stream as well. Or on Grand Finals Game One, Venya and Light rematched. Who's Wait a minute. This isn't fighting Polygon team. Hold on a second. <laughs> no, it is. No, like, the, the, I don't see them. I don't <laughs> oh, okay. Where are right. they? I, I miss those guys. Uh, just ignore what I said. I haven't <laughs> seen them since 1999, man. Oh, the, the, the good old days. All right, but back onto this, though. We have Light looking much more solid compared to that first game. But again, this is very very much not out of reach because of the fact that Venya was taking all that damage before and just completely reversed it pretty much every time. Now, what's actually crazy is that Light's riding a lot of momentum here. You know, he just mm -hmm. took out Ray in Loser's Finals, getting Ray a third place finish, coming back into it here. And he has to win two sets against Venya in this best two of three, by the way. We don't do any best three of fives here because this is a week now. We're trying to get home. Yes, and also because of the history of a certain Sinji and a certain John Numbers. Oh my, don't even get me started. Here I, we go. I've heard the horror stories. Well, back to the match. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Venya, again, st still sitting at 97%, connects the neutral air, managed to combo off of it. I like that shuriken for trying to catch a jump in case you could go for the jump a little bit too early. Oh, I like what he actually did there. He was trying to catch him with the Firefox because of the fact that he has no hitbox on that LB, trying to force him to, uh, you know, have to be knocked away. But finally, both of them are back on the stage after about 30 seconds. Nobody dying because Crazy of it. Crazy offstage action happening. You notice that, like, li again, Venya thought he was going to go straight up that time, but then Light went for the wall. Like, it's all about Light reacting to him. So I feel like the counters just aren't really working out for him on this type of stage. But that'll work. We'll take that to the bank. That was a dash cancel. That was a dash cancel down tilt as well. So canceling his momentum to get that guaranteed kill confirmed is so strong. Where you would normally have to respect a dash attack. Now you have to respect multiple options because of that. The down tilt, uh, new animation in this game. He actually like, karate chops your ankles. Mm -hmm. But speaking of karate chops, that was not one. That was a back air. Mm -hmm. Foot to the face. Other types of karate. And only taking thirty percent as well. So not too bad for having for lost that first stock. Venya able to rack on damage so fast. I like the single jab to force him to have to go low. Again, trying to see how he reacts after these jabs. Venya trying to mix up where he's going to go. The master of using up B to just like go back and forth. Normal Greninjas would do that and just SD afterwards. But I very rarely see Venya SD off of up B, except for like that first stock in the first set. And lucky for Venya, that up tilt doesn't drag off the ledge anymore either, because you definitely wouldn't see him do that if that was still the case. Gonna get punished accordingly, but oh, not falling for that air smash dodge. again. He wanted the air dodge. If, at first you don't if it works the first time, keep trying it until, you know, it doesn't work. It's a scary spot too, because if he reads you with it, <laughs> Just like that up smash Wait, with a fair, he could on. have potentially killed. Hold the heck on. Did he pop off IRL while, like, you saw Mike shake of it when he taunted. Mm -hmm. He's what? feeling himself. That's a scary light to fight against. When light is trying to get momentum, a lot of people, you know, they, they tend to see him and they're like, oh, man, he taunts a whole bunch. That's how he gets into it. And also, he wants, it, it, it's a mental thing as well. You get into your opponent's head, you start to get that momentum going for you. That's a great thing. But Venya, very unfazed by that and evening this back up. Yeah, like, taunting is a very strong strong tactic in this game. It's like, it's banned from online though. What the heck? Like That makes me sad. I want to talk cancel into things online, but they won't let me. <laughs> no taunting in my lobby. No taunting. Oh, Dude, <laughs> there should be an option, dog. I want to like, no, get kicked. It's all about crouching you're, now, you're dog. You're DQ'd from the tournament. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, got a parry coming out from Light. Not able to get the punish because Venya was on the way out during that neutral air. That was an escape neutral air. And Venya trying to read him going a little bit low with that side B. Not going to get it, though. He's going to have to start playing careful, though, because he's at 96%. He Good thing he went aggressive on his way back on the stage, too, because the back air was ready to meet him. Yeah. Literally, oh, he caught the Fox Illusion. Forces the, the low recovery again. Tries to go off stage. Gives up stage presence for the counter. I mean, if he lands that... Light's dead. Exactly. So I get why he's going for it so often. Exactly. Like even if you know if it misses four times, if you get it that fifth time and it steals you the game, no tech it. and oh, the reaction no. for the roll. No taxis. This is the first game. You see Light feel, like really getting into it, slapping his like a few times. Like come on, I got this. I got this. Let's go. Venya again. Gonna put that in his back pocket. There's nothing about that game at all that was a huge detriment to Venya. Just got caught in a situation where most people would because Light, with his reaction speed, super good at getting those rolls. Now, Ajax, I want to ask you a question. Mm. Do you think that he flubbed the tech or that Venya actually did, didn't miss the tech on purpose because he was hoping... Well, actually, no, that wouldn't work. No, never mind. He just missed well, the tech. Well, if he, if he actually teched in place, he would, he would have just died outright. Yeah. But Light was in a situation in the last game. He has made a lot of money off of tech chase up smashes. 
more than most people have yeah. <laughs> in uh, the span of a few weeks. But Venya just got caught sleeping a little bit on that. And uh, again, going to this next game, I don't think that's going to phase me too much. He tries to run away from the dash attack. Light on the move. He's trying to like cross him up with that because normally you can't run past your opponent through the dash mechanics because you're like a wall. But dash attack, if you're close enough, can actually cross you up, yep. and, can, and it's hard to turn around in this game compared to like Smash Wii U. Yeah, and get cr you know punishing cross ups in general in this game is so much harder due to the new shield stun mechanic, and that's something that Light abuses a lot. But Venya also abusing his landings, good shine stall, and avoiding the up smash as well. Light finally able to get back down to the ground, but gets Whoa. punished for being aggressive at the ledge with that counter that, finally working. Oh my god, that kick is so strong. Gets the dash attack to try to set him up. Couldn't get too big of a follow up, but now he's off stage with the back airs. Venya's gonna have to respect it. He won't die just yet. A good answer trying to go for the aggressive option off the ledge. And we're seeing now Light is starting to adjust to these double jumps off the ledge. And this is now the first time where we're seeing Light not let the bleeding get too heavy after losing a first stock. He actually managed to even that up pretty quick. The sour spot new up smashes just have been like the dominating force in this match. Ooh. And I like the fact that Venya, even when he's getting caught on these landings, still commits to it. He's not afraid of trying to go after Light from an airspace, where many people would be. Neutral air up smash, not enough to get the kill just yet. Tries to get the follow-up afterwards. Shadow Sneak's coming out. I like this aggressive play from Venya, looking for an attempted fair off the side of the stage to back Light off, but he's not going to get it. And catches him again, but good defense going for the ledge with the air dodge. You notice that Venya was just holding shield there, even though Light was pushing with the dash, because he knows that Fox would be able to get pretty much anything off of grab at that point. Mm -hmm. He was waiting for like a jump. Okay, we're both moving, gets the down tilt, gets the forward air. Venya putting, putting Light on his final stock in game two. Definitely understanding and agreeing with Venya as to why he's saying this character is so strong. All of his abilities to just kill confirm repeatedly. Oh, oh no! no! Okay, and actually, he was trying to splash him right there. If Venya would have gone for an up B while on that stage, he could have pushed off. That could have been the game. Yeah, we could have been going to game three right now, but unfortunately for Venya, just a little bit too late to try and go for the up B. Give him light, a second lease on life. Yeah, Venya just playing the retreating game a bit here, waiting to finally connect that first arrow before trying to push the guns. There he goes. Trying to, he's honestly, he's going for the Hydro Pump a lot more often now. Now he recognizes that he almost got like a Gimp off of it on lights. Yeah, I think, oh, it gets the drag down. Actually had the right call. Too but quick on the down. He was just a little too hair quick on that trigger, man. Here we go, 99%. Goes off stage for the Shadow Sneak. Takes away game two from Light. Venya one game away from winning the final Xeno of the year. Xeno 141. We th everyone thought, sorry, I'm literally, still I'm still breathing out yeah, pretty I hear heavy you. after I hear, that I think, one. That was, I think the, the venue is, dog. I feel the thing is, people heard that light was coming. Mm -hmm. So the entire venue, the entire, everyone that attended this tournament was like, well, I guess light's winning the tournament. Not venue. Little did anyone know that it was going to be venue of, every, of all characters, of all players, to make it to Grants, to take it, knock him to losers, and to be one game away from winning the whole tournament. Again, you know, this is it's not something that is the same territory Light's used to. And because of this new game, he has to accept. And he's taking a long pause there, actually, for the first time in a while. Really stopping and thinking about it. Almost looking like a pouty child who just got his toys taken away from him. But you know, really trying to figure out <laughs> yeah. what, what, what he can do to adjust to this no, my, situation my, that my, he's currently my, my in. My man got in trouble trying to catch Santa a little bit early. Found out it was Dad instead. Put the gifts underneath mm -hmm. the tree, and it was just, uh, oh, God, he's heartbroken. Look at him. I thought I was getting that new computer for Christmas so I can stream. He wanted Adele so badly. He wanted, wanted to get an Alienware laptop so he could stream his uh, For Glory gameplay. Yeah, instead, you his know, GSP trying to get to Elite Smash. Somebody found him 98 windows at the pawn shop. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? It doesn't matter, though, because he gets enough money from these Ws that he gets at events, and this is one that he wants to try and get right now as well. But then you're trying to stop that. Listen, Ajax, if there's any song you could ask for, for potential final game of the tournament. This is it. Well, that and Champions Team Cynthia. But anyways, uh, <laughs> on this stage as well, it's just, it's so fun. It just makes you want to bounce and get cheerful. But both of these guys, out for murder, you can see the really serious faces on them right now, trying to make sure that they walk away with this W. This is not just for the W, but for bragging rights amongst them as well. This is kind of a strange counter pick for Light, honestly. I've never seen him go to Light Yoshi's Island before. It could just be like a mix-up, because you saw how long mm -hmm. it took for him to decide on a stage counter pick. You just wanted to 
Mix I, things up, I guess. I think we just saw what he's doing it as well. You're seeing he's going for these high side Bs. He might be looking for alternate routes to avoid. And right there, he had the option to avoid the down tilt into up smash because he could tech on that platform. Yeah, that platform actually saving him from that conversion. But wait, if you're on the top platform, you got to look out. Yeah, Venyev recognizing it and adjusting accordingly. You know, you can hide all you want, but I can go get you anyways. Is she only the neutral there? Look at him go, connecting the back here, has him off stage. All right, Benny opting to just recover high as well. You know, this is, even though it's working for Light, it's going to work just as well for Greninja. You see Light normally pressure a lot of people with back airs at the ledge. He has not let him do that to him at all this set. Oh, and he shield poked poking him. him as well. Yo, you got shield pokes, I got him too. That fair oh. going to put one point on the board for him. Giving him a taste of his own medicine. I like oh, the aggressive play style from him. He's like, the every time he goes. But there's the back air. I no. just said that he hasn't been caught, but he finally got caught. Light was unfazed by his Venia's shenanigans. Good spacing on that forward air. He's retreating it just enough time. Catches the landing. He keeps catching him with the landings with these. Gets the parry on the nair yet again, but that time, not a maximum combo uh, that he could have gotten for a punish. Ooh, I think that was an input error from Light. I think he wanted a back air. Yeah, that Nair, unfortunately. Yeah, it is a thing with this game. Like, you could get the accidental buffers. It's it's something we're all getting used to. But you see these top contenders really getting used to it already. Not normally a lot of technical flubs like that. Yeah, oh, good did. delay for holding onto the wall there, messing up Light's timing. Yeah, this is actually a good thing for Greninja. He can actually just cling to the wall down mm -hmm. below when it's just a straight wall like that. It allows him to mix up his recovery. Great parry, but unfortunately, he's the one that died for it. Yeah, no uh, platform that time to save him with a tech. He's going to take that down to the up smash. And now, all of a sudden, Venya looking like he could potentially walk away with this tournament last stock on Light's life. Literally just one stock away, dog. There he goes, he's chilling off stage, trying to mix up his recovery by using the wall clings again. As he jumps around, he's trying to unload the toad, but there's the up smash coming out from Fox McCloud, one stock apiece. Winner of this decides the like the, the fate of what we're gonna witness here, because Light trying to reset the bracket will have to win another set against Venio. Venio's trying to get us home right now. It's something simple that I don't think a lot of people might be noticing is that Light is not taunting at the end of these stocks. Like, usually he feels himself very, very much when he's doing that. He knows that he's kind of running with it or trying to get himself amped up. He's legitimately feeling a little stressed right now. He definitely needs that. Like, oh, he gets the counter, 82%. Bad spot, goes he for go the dare, but it was just high enough. Uh, that, is, that is such the Venia thing to do. Go for the down air, try to just stomp on his head. We're trying to close out the entire tournament, 95%. One down tilt away from closing this out. But on the, below the platform, might not be able to work. Goes for the dash tag instead. Catches him uh, with an attempt to punish that air dodge on the landing. Doesn't get to go. Gets the down tilt into the fair. Not going to take it though. This shuriken going to force him to have to go low. And doesn't get the counter. He Lights going for the shine. But oh, yes, D's. Oh, no. Get the Firefox at the ledge. Not a way you want to see that tournament end. But regardless, Venia, your Zeno 141 champion, the final Zeno of the year, taking out light and defending New York City. What an excellent set, regardless of that last thing there. You know, it's something that does happen. It's unfortunate, but Light's going to hold that L regardless and say, you know what, I'm going to come back. I'm going to get it next time. But Venya solidifying the defense of NY for today. Maybe not next time, but for today. But it looking very I'm solid. Sorry. And I I'm, mean, it was, it, was I, good, it was a good game. No, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually very impressed and happy that he came out and proved to everybody why this Greninja is so good. Because he's been preaching it on Twitter. Like, yo, anybody who doesn't believe me, meet me at Let's Make Moves, money match me any amount. That's literally what he said. That sounds like you named like a number, I'll play. <laughs> yeah. And he is proven today the guy who just beat Tweak and Nairo twice at NYXL. Really showing everybody why he is as strong as he is. Just got beat. By Venya. No, I gotta ask you a very important question. Mm -hmm. Do you think Venya has what it takes to win Let's Make Moves? Absolutely. After really? the way that he played today. No hesitation. Uh, uh, the fact that we just saw that there's so many great confirms, such good movement options for Greninja, I think that if you decide to sleep on Venya going into Let's Make Moves, you are going to regret it. It's going to be a terrible idea. And that's why you're going to hold the L if you don't respect it. And I think that he proved to everybody why he deserves it there. And if you are not going, make sure you tune in to everything that's streaming. You got even matchup gaming plus Nairo and of course HL3K who's gonna be helping the stream. Uh, that will be this upcoming Saturday. That's my phone. This is not mine. The, the, Austin giving away my phone. My man my, 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 owns it. The thing is, let's make moves guys. We have so much competition here. There's gonna be Larry Lur, Void coming from the West mm -hmm. Coast. We got Ally dropping by, Ally Captain Zach. 
Um, Cosmos is coming it's through. Sam Sora Tweak, is going to be Sam Sora. Like, there's so Nairo, many. Of this is literally the biggest ultimate tournament that we've had so far. So now we're going to be interviewing Vinny. Do you want me to handle this? Vinny, oh. Vinny's my bro, dog. Your, I say it's New your York won. New York won, dog. I'm have sorry. New York if won. It was light, I would, if it was light, I would have let you do it. Yeah, right. if light. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I am, of course, Ajax, a.k.a. 10,000 names that Devin has given me today. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Don't go anywhere, guys. We will be right